Hello everyone. This video is on how to clean your diffuser. So it's really recommended that you clean your diffusers once a week. Um, it keeps them operating at peak performance. So typically on say Saturday, I gather all my diffusers and have a little assembly line going on and I gather some rubbing alcohol and cotton rounds as well as the brushes that come with the diffusers. Each one comes with a little brush. And then I take my diffuser and I inspect the outside of them and make sure everything looks good, no cracks, anything like that. I also wanna check and make sure on the bottom where the vents are that there's no um, dust or animal hair. And if so, just clean it out. And then I remove the tops. And I typically wash them in warm soapy water and set them aside to dry. And then this is the ultrasonic plate that's on the inside. So I want to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And you can either put it on the cotton round or dip your brush in or just pour a little bit in. It's kind of easier just pour a little bit in. It doesn't take much. So pour it in there and you can take your brush or cotton round, just clean around on the inside really good and clean up the edges. And then you always want to make sure you get on that ultrasonic plate and make sure it's nice and clean. And so it's working properly. You can also take that cotton round and dip it in there and then just do a little extra cleaning if you'd like up the edges. And then you can take it around the outside and clean the outside of the diffuser so it's clean and looking good. And you always want to make sure that you avoid getting any water, it's hard to see in this light, but water or any liquid into the, um, the air vents that are on each of the diffusers. They're in different spots. So this one is on the side and the home diffuser is right there and then the others all have them as well. So just be mindful of when you're filling them as well as when you're cleaning them. Um, one other thing with the home diffuser, this one has little screws on the top that you can unscrew if you are so motivated to clean out because sometimes it gets residual buildup and it does need to be taken apart sometimes to clean thoroughly. So with this you can clean it with warm soapy water as well, but you can also take that cotton round and clean inside. And you can kind of just put it up underneath that little piece and clean up under there and get it nice and clean and, and ready to go. And then I typically just set them aside to dry and they are ready for business.